Hi, this is Blaine Cluton for Cluton Law. I'm answering the question today about what are some different examples of negligence. So the typical examples of negligence that we're seeing or that uh, might walk into the office are things like car accidents, somebody being injured within a store, or somebody being injured while visiting somebody else's house. Each one of these situations, there's a legal duty owed to the person that was injured, and each one of these classifications that legal o duty owed is going to vary. Now this could be a whole class that I could teach on uh, tort law and negligence and the different elements of negligence, but let's keep it really broad for now. So in the car accident context or any negligence con context, you're gonna have some basic elements of negligence. The first thing is that there's going to be a duty that's owed to um, the individual that was injured, a legal duty. The second thing is there's gonna have to be a breach of that duty, meaning that the defendant or the wrongdoing person, um, their action caused a, a legal breach of duty. The next is causation, and causation breaks down into but-for causation or direct causation and then proximate cause and then there's got to be damages. Um, damages meaning uh, usually uh, monetary loss of damages. There are other types of damages too, but usually what we're talking about is um, monetary loss. So you have to have all of those uh, elements in order to satisfy the basic elements of negligence. Each one of those um, elements then breaks down quite a bit further and you're going to have um, different types, for instance, in the duty and the legal duty owed. Um, if you are a um, invitee or a person that goes to a business, there's going to be different responsibilities that a store owner has with respect to keeping the store safe for the people that are visiting the store, rather than if you're just a social guest doing a dinner party at um, a friend's house. And this is even distinct from a person who's trespassing on another person's property and what duty is owed there. So um, negligence can come in the form of um, a lot of different ways in which legal duties can be breached. Um, but most commonly what we're gonna see is um, like in the car accident context or uh, slip and fall at a store. But the last thing to keep in mind is that you can have um, negligence and uh, other types of uh, torts for intentional torts, uh, such as um, assaulting a person, which is typically hitting another person intentionally and causing damages. Um, but usually what we're talking about is uh, in the car accident context where somebody's run a red light or ran through a stop sign or left their lane of travel and traveled into another person's lane. And all these uh, scenarios that there was a legal duty owed and the, and the other driver, the defendant driver, has breached that duty and, um, and caused damages most likely, or in those examples, they've caused damages to the other driver, or the other vehicle. If you have further questions about whether your particular situation is negligence, um, please do talk to an attorney and find out what your legal rights are with respect to uh, damages and recovery. This is Blaine Cluton for Cluton Law. Thank you.